Hey, happy New Year's, guys. I'm the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. So with 2025, I'm going to focus on research and development, R&D. So I'm going to be taking a big step back from video production and a bunch of other things so I can focus on software development while still doing my full-time job. Anyways, Isaac from T-Rex Arms and T-Rex Labs sent me this B-Tech UV Pro. And uh, while I'm not a fan of a lot of features uh, specifically how much it wants to be connected to the internet and set up profiles. There is value in this because this supports a Bluetooth TNC or terminal node controller. And I have been working on setting up a packet BBS now for about five weeks for local MCOM. More on that in the next big video. But let's go ahead and run a little tool that I called ET UV uh, UV. Pro, and it gives you a couple of op options here uh, to pair your radio, unpair, or connect. We'll go ahead and connect. And I tried to make this as nerd free as possible. And this is using a build of MCOM tools, which is not yet out there. And it tells us to turn on the BTEC UV Pro. Now, I've already paired this previously. Uh, there's a script that also does that for you. And then we're going to go ahead, oops, and press enter here. And more nerd stuff, it's just trying to kill anything that was running beforehand. And it's going to try to connect to the radio. And if this works without cables, we should be able to access our BBS. And then you can see here that, ooh, this is terrible focus, uh, that the packet port is ready. And we can now run the AX call command. We'll put the... Uh, packet radio device. I've configured it by default as PKT1200. And then we want to connect to that station over there, which is uh, using the alias TTP BBS. And we will hit enter and we'll let the volume go here. Now I've noticed that this is a little bit slower than me doing um, packet with uh, the DigiRig Lite or the DigiRig Mobile. Uh, I don't know why the startup time takes so long, but uh, it does work. Uh, so this is part of the testing and the research and development that I'm going to be doing. Um, while we're waiting for that to connect, because I don't even hear it sending uh, packets right now, that's actually really quite slow. Uh, again, we'll be doing a full video on this. Uh, this is the, oh, hold on a second. So you can see here we connected to the TTP BBS. I've got a bunch of really cool commands and I have Gucci'd my system out a bit. Uh, but let's go ahead and type in now BBS and uh, packets will start flying again. And then you can see here we are connected to the BBS and I'm gonna list uh, the bulletins. I don't wanna show you guys my personal message. Again, it'll transmit a packet and it will give us a list of all of the bulletins here. So, guys, much longer video will be coming on uh, my focus for research and development, but I wanted to plant the seed that um, Packet, almost 30 years later, is going to be something I'm going to be focused on. It's going to be focused on building community and building great services. Um, and then, again, big th shout out to Isaac over at T-Rex Labs, T-Rex Arms. I'm pretty much going to use this one, uh, not so much for APRS, uh, don't use that service anymore, but for a lot of the straight AX25 packet. And uh, I've got a couple stations running here, so I'm using my older uh, Panasonic FZ-M1 Mark I, kind of slow. And this is the BBS, and it's connected to the, I believe it's now discontinued, the Yesu FT2980R. Out here in Phoenix, I'm on 145.710. I'm running full power with a Diamond uh, X50A on the roof. And then also have a second BBS here that takes 12 volts. More on what this is later, still evaluating it. And this is connected to the 991A as an HF BBS. Uh, I'm not running everything on the same one for right now. Anyways, guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared.